now that a new school year is coming up and we'll be spending hours studying in cafes on campus or traveling the world using a dozen public wi-fi hotspots it's going to be so important to protect our online identity which is where today's sponsor surfshark comes in handy these public wi-fi's that we use at airports or cafes are usually not secure and a great way for anyone to gain access over your personal information and sell targeted ads too because nothing is creepier than when you're talking to a friend about something and a day later an ad pops up with that exact topic that you guys were talking about and that is just one example of how your personal information gets taken so what Surfshark does is it's a VPN a virtual private network and it secures and encrypts your personal information before it goes over to the internet so people you don't want having access to your personal information they won't have access to it and it will keep you safe on public hotspots but one of my favorite features on Surfshark is that you can see content that is not available in your area so you can change your location to other countries around the world and that's going to make streaming devices think that you're actually over there so you gain access to for example Netflix catalogs that weren't available in your country I wanted to re-watch Young Adults Matter but when I went to go look for it it was not available in my country so all I had to do was to activate the VPN and change my IP address to South Korea and the best of all is that Surfshark is the only VPN to offer one account to use on an unlimited number of devices so if you want to give it a try go to my link down below and use promo code munchy you'll get 83% off and three months for free Surfshark also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you try it out and you don't like it for whatever reason you can just get your money back again thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video I love back to school season probably since I was like a teenager so in this video I'm taking you along with me while I prepare to go back to college I'm going to clean my desk organize everything and of course I'm going to show you guys what I will be carrying with me through campus so I'm gonna do a little what's in my bag for you guys yeah I am really excited to go back to college it's so like motivating to see these kinds of videos on YouTube especially me like in summer you don't have a routine you don't really have anything to do so I'm so happy and excited to like do things again to follow like a schedule an actual schedule so yeah let's get started
I know I'm late with this kind of content, but that's because I'm going back to college late September. Monday is my first day, and because tomorrow I have way too much to do, I'm gonna pack my bag so that I don't have to do that tomorrow, if that makes any sense. This is probably the bag that I will be using. I was using this last year, and it was just really perfect. This is from Double Happy, it says Namjooning. In college, things go very quickly when a professor says like okay that's it y'all can go now people are running for their lives and i hate being that one person that is like holding everyone up i switched to this one because it's just one big hole and then on the inside it just has a little zipper compartment let's pack and let me show you what i'll be taking with me most importantly i'm going to be taking my ipad i don't take my laptop with me every single day just because it's very heavy and sometimes i only have like one class or two classes that are back to back without a break or something there is no need for me to take a big laptop with me every day i was actually thinking about getting the magic keyboard from apple because i thought that an ipad and a keyboard would still be lighter than my laptop i don't know we'll see about that first thing that goes into the bag is my ipad next up my planner i showed this in my previous video it's a moleskine planner i love this one i used to plan everything on my iPad using the GoodNotes app but I just love pen on paper when I'm planning things so I just switched to my trusty old Moleskine planner in the little zipping compartment I'm gonna put my keys and my wallet I also like to put two pens like loose pens in this zipper compartment I don't know why maybe it's just because it's easy to take out it's really fast everything has to be fast in college I don't know why oh yeah my headphones oh my god if i would forget these on my first day that would not be funny i got this container this is like a, a morning bowl so yeah it has two compartments and a little fork i got a little snack box for like nuts and stuff and lastly i needed a new water bottle i had another green one but my dog destroyed it so i had to buy a new one I don't know it looks heavy you guys, but I promise you it is not heavy. So yeah, there you go. That's what's in my bag, I guess. Oh yeah, actually, by the way, I filmed a Notion tour for this video actually, but I was so sick and tired of my Notion page that eventually I'm just not gonna put it in this video. I'm gonna change my Notion completely and then make a video about it or include it in a vlog or something. So yeah, unfortunately, no Notion tour in this video, but you guys can explain expect a notion tour very soon. Actually the perfect timing. Clarice just uploaded a Notion tour. So I started changing my Notion already. I said I was gonna do that another time, but I just started doing it. So I downloaded her template and then just started taking things that I wanted to include in my Notion. And eventually I just got fed up and I was like, this Notion template itself is perfect. So I just took her entire template. I appreciate that so much. I'm feeling so much more at peace with with my notion right now it used to be so like overstimulating i just had gifts everywhere pictures and colors and now it's just black and white a few pictures but nothing too crazy so thank you to clarice in the clouds for her amazing template